hello guys welcome back to my channel today i want to share with you my makeup favorites my makeup is very simple i don't like to take longer than 10 15 minutes in the morning to do my makeup usually the longest take my eyebrows let's get started i'm gonna show you which pieces how i use and why the eyebrows i um used to use only the pencil to create strokes now i'm going a little bit in between of a powder from anastasia in the dark brown and i like to use the dark tone as you can see i used to use the light one but now i'm going for darker tones so i just like to dip the brush in it and i just like to create like the tone right here like this part of the eyebrow i feel lightly with the powder after the powder i use the pencil to create strokes guys this pencil is as well from anastasia is the ebony tone and with this one oops i'm really talented today with this pencil i like to create strokes which look like natural hair so that's the ebony from anastasia i used to use the mac pencil but this one kick the MAC, MAC pencil butt is better. It stays better, even the MAC stick very well, stick, stayed very well. Sometimes I felt like the pigmentation wasn't even and sometimes it was a little bit hard to apply. With this Anastasia, the brush is perfect. You see, it just creates even pigmentation of the strokes and I like it. Once um, the eyebrows are created, I like to set them with the Anastasia gel and I use a little spoolie, I just like dip it slightly and just like brush through my eyebrows even I don't think I did it today because today I really didn't want a dramatic makeup because I had some errands today to run around but it was just nothing so crazy you know like some days you want to be more casual so you choose simple makeup and sometimes when you go for dinner you want like smoky eye and things like that right so i know i know so my eyelids are super sensitive i usually start with my brows then i do the eye makeup i like to use this primer from urban decay the anti-aging one no <laughs> not today guys i've been using this one for a really long time it has very light beige pigment it makes the eye makeup stay oh, whole day even if you go after your work like to the gym or something like that this will make the makeup stay on like i will wash off my foundation concealer and bronzer <laughs> but the eye makeup i leave hello um the next step i usually follow it will be a base for the base, I use my Westman Atelier Bronzer Coop the Soil in Tone with my brush from Hourglass number 14 and I just literally like apply it all over the eyelid until it has like nice even tone. I am mostly focused on this area but I go a little bit higher of course. I'm loving the bronzer as a base guys. It just works perfect and the tone of the bronzer is beautiful. My favorite eyeshadow ever, 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 ever is this Victoria Beckham, Beckham, Victoria Beckham eyeshadow, the signature tone, guys. This is pure perfection, smoky, natural tone. So these are all the tones I need. This tone I use with this brush, this one is from Hourglass, number three, to create like the you know the smokiness in the arch of my eye to you know to increase the depth of the eye and like open it up a little bit and if i want for the evening more of drama i mix these two tones together and i create smokiness this tone i like to use as well as eyeliner because it's really pigmented and super dark it's a very special tone <laughs> The pink one I don't use much, I think you really have to be 10 for it and I'm so not 10, look at that, like, I'm like super pale. I'm not using my soft tender now because next week I will go to the pool because I took a few days off. So I'm gonna get, you know, 10 from the sun which sometimes we need. Not my face, don't worry about that. This tone I like to use 
when I create like a little bit of mess usually it's in this area of my eye you know clean it up here like that and then I go a little bit under the eyebrow my favorite palette on the world for now I've been using where is it <laughs> right here this Dior palette just for one of the eyeshadow this one this eyeshadow I use guys just to open up this area of the eye to you know to bring the light to the eyes but I just purchased a new eyeshadow just like a single color in this tone from Dior and it should arrive soon because I honestly don't like to have this whole palette with me I mean I will finish using it of course because I don't like to waste things but I think it's too much of palette just for one eyeshadow I didn't use this eyeshadow, I dropped it and it broke, so just to let you know, the only eyeshadow I used was this one and then this one. So that will be the palette from Dior, but only for one tone, with this beautiful brush. Concealer and foundation. I love the classic uh, Yves Saint Laurent, just to highlight the area under the eyes, but that is usually for like... I carry this one in my, my makeup bag, in my handbag for like the day when I like didn't sleep much and I feel like I need to retouch my makeup because I don't like to retouch my makeup during the day I do it in the morning and that's it Lipstick, that's all day long story, like you have no idea but makeup, like concealers, I just don't like to do that because I feel like once you do that it feels like you have too much of going on on your skin but I will use that one for that my everyday to go for, to go to, not go for, to go to concealer is this concealer from Giorgio Armani. I think it's 3.75 tone. It's super light. It blends very nicely. Look at that. It's beautiful. I use it under my eye area around here to cover the little dark spot in the arch of my eye. And here around my nose just to like highlight you know the parts but I don't put it all over my face of course not like if I will have like something here then I go for my uh, Westman Atelier stick foundation oh no this is not it that's the blush <laughs> this is the foundation this is the new chill tone guys as you can see probably I love this. I love this product. It's so beautiful. It blends so well. Doesn't break my skin. Doesn't irritate my skin. Doesn't clog the pores. It illuminates the skin. I have the number three as well. If we go at night for dinner and I want to do full makeup with smoky eye with my Victor Beckham eyeshadow, I will take the number three and put it like all over my face and this I will just like use as before as the concealer I showed you to highlight and yes I will do that but that is really here and there most of the time every day I just take the concealer apply it under my eye area and if I feel it's too much I take it down here so for that I use this Vestman Atelier brush which I'm kind of disappointed with guys because it cracked it has cracked right here I have it very shortly so it should not happen Let's see if it breaks completely. As you already seen, um, this Nectar from Vesman Atelier, guys, this is absolutely incredible product. From the beginning, I was confused because I thought it was too glossy, but I like to apply it on the arch of the lip and here. And as well, before I apply my concealer or the foundation, if you go out, I apply it in this area for extra glow. But I, this is really something I will apply under the foundation because I feel once you apply it on top of the foundation, it takes the foundation away. So I will use it as a base for the glow, not on all your face, only here. So, and my favorite Chouchette blush, guys, this thing is so good i use my tom ford brush which is for foundation and i use it for the blush and i just like lightly add the tone to my cheeks like that it looks so natural and so beautiful let me swipe it for you look at that 
It's like this beautiful pinkish peachy tone, blends so well, it stays on forever and looks super natural. I feel like everybody should have this tone in their makeup bag. If I use powder, which is not very often with me guys, I will use uh, this one from Laura Mercier, the translucent powder right here. I will have this small size and I will have it for a very long time because I really don't use powder that much and I like to use this brush from Hourglass, the larger size and I just like dip like this if I'm like super shiny that's what I will do but that's really is it that's it powder no because I don't like the matte look I like to look fresh you know like slightly glowy not oily but glowy <laughs> and then I apply the bronzer with this buffy one and I just like you know you know what I mean sometimes I have to reapply the blush because I take it away with the bronzer but this is just like what I like to do I don't like to apply like too much of product on my face because my skincare is very intensive <laughs> so you know, I don't want to cover the skin. I wanted people to see the freshness. Skincare is more important than makeup, guys. Yes, you can mess up makeup and uh, it's bad. Yes, you can. So <laughs> don't overuse your products. Do not overuse your products. I usually have makeup for a very long time. I used to have foundation not for such a long time, but now as I'm getting older, I am not big in foundation. I prefer a more natural look. My favorite lipsticks are these three. This is from Tom Ford, the Fascinator. It's like this gorgeous pink peachy matte color. I am loving it guys. Loving it. So pretty. And then this tone is from MAC, MAC. <laughs> uh, Velvet Teddy. This one is more peachy tone, very pigmented. This is it. So I will recommend you, once you apply it, like dab it with your fingers a little bit off so you don't look like you have too much product. And if I feel like I want something which is not so pigmented but still stay in the tones, I go for the Hermes tone. As you can see, this one is much more sheer because it's not matte. So, and that's the Satin Beige Blue, 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 you know, number 17, yes. <laughs> that's the tone, you've seen this one previously in my videos. I'm loving this lipstick. And I keep it in the little dress, like that. Two more products to share. My favorite eyeliner from Tom Ford. I have these eyeliners for years guys, I mean for years and I usually use just this side, I like cut it off so much because I really have it forever and I always close it with the wrong way and then it like looks like a fountain and I want it pointy. So you create like the perfect lines with this eyeliner and I it has two sides, I never use this one because with this one as you can see it's a little bit more dramatic. And I, I really use it just for like the wing here to connect, you know, like the French eyeliner, but not too dramatic. So that's what I use it for. And this eyeliner stays on. It doesn't print, it doesn't leak. It stays on, guys. It's perfection. And my favorite mascara from Victoria Beckham. I used to use the Dior Overcurl, but once I tried this mascara, there is no way back. This is just perfection. It makes my lashes curled up, separates them, but it covers each lash in the product. It's so amazing. And at night, you just remove it with water and then you just use a very little bit of eye makeup remover to take off your eyeshadow with leftovers of the mascara. Super easy, it doesn't pull your lashes. It's fabulous, fabulous. Then I have some extra brushes here I can show you. Actually, you've seen most of them already, guys. This is for the bronzer, for my eyelids. I have this one for concealer. I'm not loving it. I don't even know why I have it here. This is for concealer when I like mess up my eyebrows. 
and I want to clean it up a little bit with the concealer which I use on this area there. Armani one, <laughs> then I use this brush, this I use if I use the eyeliner as, I mean the eyeshadow as eyeliner, I buff up the eyeliner with this one to make it more natural looking. And these three are my brushes to go to for blending. What more you need, you don't need that much guys, right? And then this is the one which I use to the highlight the corners of the eye and that's the, con the foundation one <laughs> and that's it oh this this is in my makeup bag all the time guys <laughs> every time i feel like i need to pick up after a long day you just spray this on your face and you are like i don't need the coffee i can go without coffee so i just like keep going <laughs> it all fits into this I have more makeup, but I like to try new things, but sometimes they irritate me, they break me out, so I cannot use them that much. I changed in the last two years with my makeup a lot. I used to use foundation in a daily basics, but I mean, why? Why? It's just too heavy. Like, drink your water, take your antioxidants, eat your blueberries and avocado and spinach. Here and there have your juice, you know, use your biologic research <laughs> and SPF and your skin will just not need so much of coverage. Um, you know what I'm considering purchasing because I always want to try new things. Uh, the eyeshadow from Le Bouton, you know, the very colorful, which has very metallic undertones, but I'm thinking it's nice for summer. What do you think about it? Did you try? Let me know if you like it. You think it will irritate my skin because it's so sensitive. But guys, I like to give it a try. Anyway guys, thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate all your support. Thank you for giving me thumbs up. Don't forget to give me one today. And I see you next week. And the next week, by this time, I will be off guys. I'm taking 10 days off. I love my job, but I cannot wait not to see the people. Even they are really funny sometimes. But, you know what I mean? Don't we all love it? <laughs> right. Thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate all your support. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.